What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total Wallets play as the Italian States. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we secured Edinburgh, but the bulk of what we've been doing is economic and military development. Like look how many buildings in Paris that are being repaired and upgraded. Because we do have an awful lot of enemy forces arrayed against us. An awful lot. But that is not a problem. We just have to build up our forces in response and also upgrade our economy in response. But thankfully the Ottomans and the Prussians are at war. So that gives us a bit of a... That gives us a bit of a, a break. So they are drawing some of their troops away to deal with this threat. So we're going to be earning 26,000 next turn. We've got some trade, we've got some commodities out because of Egypt, but I have also sent an army over to make the crossing to the Atlantic to secure new um, new business opportunities. You are going to keep moving. Okay, let's hit end turn. So I've got a lot of rakes spawned recently, and they've been sent to spy on the Swedes. Like the Prussians, they've got three stacks, so hopefully they... They should be able to do a lot of damage to the Ottomans. But if you look, they are picking up more and more armies for an amphibious assault in some direction. When I'm ready, I would be tempted to attack because I could sink them all. But if you look, oh, they're all in one, one area as well. I mean, I'm hoping they do, that means they're declaring war. They want to declare war on Russia. And they want to take Athens back, which they should. But look at that. That's a load of troops. That's a lot of men. My armies are just not specced to cope with that. That's a serious, serious amount of firepower. But yeah, we want to go take Santo Domingo and we want to take Cuba. So Sevilla has diamond formation, that's all it's really good for taking. You upgrade to a classical university. Construction report, lots of low-tier buildings, which is good. Low-tier buildings are cheap to upgrade and provide quite a good amount of financial bang for their buck. Fleet arrives. We have crossed the Atlantic and we could take... Do we take Newfoundland on the way down? I think we do. We're not going to demand surrender, but I'm not going to fight that because that's just a. Yeah, we lost 300 men for that attack. Formerly French territory, so it should be okay in our hands, being good Catholic peoples. So let's spend some money in this area. We can get some fur, um, some fur pelts onto the trade market, which are worth. They're the lowest price good. That's a start, that's a good start. Spices are worth a huge amount of money. Lots of recruitment in France and central Italy, because this is where our heavy artillery is recruited from. So you men are going to go join this fellow. So how many men has he got? He has 11 units plus 3 units of artillery. Brings up to 14. These bring him up to 18 and he needs 2 more units. He'd probably like some type of skirmish here but I don't think I can, I can seemingly not recruit any. Okay, let's make it regular line because we do need to expand our army in a cost-efficient way. Okay, let's upgrade this fella. Let's upgrade another set of roads somewhere else. Genoa. Of 
recruit some more line to slowly build up Niccolo Cassini, because when we end up fighting them, we will need reinforcements, because we'll just run out of ammo. Yeah, we took Newfoundland, um, but recruitment report. Sloop in the Irish Sea. Good. That means I can bring my infantry back to London. I do want to take this guy out. But right now I'm building, building up a second heavy fleet. I do have a light fleet here that could do some good. 26,000 next turn. Yeah, my spies are going behind the lines. We can just see, we can see just how badly we're screwed. Mm, here comes the Royal Navy once more. Over to dock in Libya. Uh, nope. The Prussians are marching on the Ottomans, which is actually perfect. It really is. We're not at war with the, with the, the Prussians, and if they want to attack... If you want to attack Vienna, then I'm, I'm more than well, they're more than welcome to do so. Because then that relieves pressure on Venice. And it looks like it's going to draw more of their forces northward. <laughs> Scratch that. Just the Ottomans are at war with us. So. If they don't move there... I was going to say, if they don't move their troops, then we're going to... Yeah. So it tells me they want Egypt. Shall I just give them Egypt? Because that's four armies deployed to secure Cairo. Um, I think I just give it to them. I think that's probably the best option. Just give them Cairo, because I'm not going to defend against four armies attacking it. No way, Jose. It's not worth the money needed for such an investment. Okay, it's diplomacy. Ottoman Empire. Peace. Trade. And I'll give you... Actually, first of all, check if I'm upgrading anything. I don't think I am. No. Our oh, five armies, sorry. So there's three coming from the east. From the west, sorry. And there's two coming from the east, and there's another army in Jerusalem ready. Um... Yeah, peace, trade, and I'll offer you Egypt. Perfect. So this army's teleported over to Patras, which I don't want him there. Oh, and the troops that were recruited are there as well. So let's take Mr. Defendi. To be honest, you guys can hang out near Italy to tactically respond to any threats. These guys can stay where they are. Construction report. Calais has a new as a dock. It's upgraded to a port. Sorry. Weaver's cottages. I mean, they're poor for now, but Paris is a very, very wealthy region. So you want to keep grading it. Already they've started cranking out about a thousand extra a turn. I mean, we've lost a bunch of money because we've lost a trade. Actually, we've recruited a bunch of stuff. Build 
Actually, before we build any more ships. Yeah, tactical treats, that's okay. Before we build anything else, let's go over here. There we go. So we've started to get a bit of income from our ports. Getting a handful of pelts. So we've lost... Oh, that's it. We lost um, lost our cotton uh, market from from uh, Cairo. But we're going to take Santo Domingo, which has tobacco, sugar, and probably coffee. Tobacco is really good. Well, 43. Tobacco is above average. We've got tobacco in Cuba, though, don't we? Sugar... And a, oh, two abundant yield tobacco plantations. That's what we need. Okay. So once they've added these three artillery units, two elite infantry will make them make this army complete. Good. No immediate tech demands. Ideally, I do want to slowly start upgrading my navies. So my big navy that's Cadiz, I'm probably going to take those two second rates from Portsmouth and drop them down there and swap out two fifth rates. So I've got my, you know, those multiple tiers of navy. You've got the your heavy rate, heavyweight ships and your medium weight, your heavy fleets, medium fleets, lightweight fleets. The lightweight fleets are there just to, to raid and hold off or just to attack singleton ships. But yeah, right now, it feels like it's a bit of a, a build-up session. Because we know what's coming. We know it's... Well, those Swedish troops. That's a ridiculous amount of infantry there. On our front, on our border, right there. So much so, I'm probably going to have to recruit just just start recruiting armies across the board aboard the board to hold up hold the line because that is a serious block of troops to try and punch through into central europe so let's take our opportunities for expansion in America. Oh, these are all our spy missions. Newfoundland has basic roads. Here you go. I have cobbled roads. I have a great estate. You have no more villages. Upgrade the weaver's cottages. Let's recruit a militia unit ready. I actually can probably take Samson out. Now I can send these guys down to Cuba. Is the biggest and is the will provide the biggest return the quickest. And this may draw us into war with the Mughal Empire. Hopefully not, but. If it does, it does. Ah, the pirates are there. Try to get to the try get to the port. Okay, so the marines over here. The artillery. To the fellow over there. Probably want to recruit, build an ordnance board if I'm already struggling to. Uh, I can't recruit the top line, top of the line artillery there. 
Tosca is a good general. Alessio Lagrangia. Okay, let's pick up some cuirassiers because you're in France. Let's get some lancers. Again, go with the heavy horse artillery. And again, go with the howitzers. And let's get some grenadier guards. Let's really start to boost our army. And I'm probably just for my own sanity. Pick up a handful of line there. Okay, I probably want to get rid of this galley. But I'm not sure where I'd get rid of it. Put it over to Mallorca. Pick up a militia unit in Naples. Okay, so I could probably do with a heavy Admiral's flagship. And probably another second. Well, actually, I better spread it out. Spread out the investment. Especially when I've got second rates over here. You guys also have a desert militia cheaper than militia, right? By 20 gold pieces. They're going to go occupy this dock. Could put a third rate ship of a line there as well. So let's take these second rates down to this shipyard over here. Oh no, you never actually fully replenished. Well, either way, doesn't matter. Let's take two of your weakest ships, swap them out with your seconds, bring these guys up to Portsmouth. Good stuff. 600 cash. No, didn't get around to repairing either of these buildings that we fought way back when. Ah, I can probably tax Turin now. Yes, I can. Resistance to foreign occupation has a lot to go down. Lots of successful missions from my spies. Okay, and turn. Separation of powers, joint stock company, seven grand's more like it. It's good tech. It's definitely good tech. It's definitely worth more, more like seven rather than either none or one, so. Full stack Ottoman Navy. Although handily they're moving their troops they're moving their ships away from their amphibious forces, so I'll take that. See Russia trying to steal more tech. Here comes the Mexican Navy, clearing out the pirate fleets. Las Piratas. But yeah. Ooh, did I even move my ship back into port in Newfoundland? Got another rake in England. Get him aboard ship. Dump him off of the coast. Well, I could have just transferred him across. Infiltrate Amsterdam. 
Major recruited another rake in Spain. Infiltrate Prague. Have I got another one? A rake in Newfoundland. Let's bring our agent aboard ship and let's just dump him off the top up here. Then bring my fifth rate. Well, first of all, let's see if this port is open. It is. Let's bring. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. Uh, you can also go into the yard here. Or you can go into dock rather than the yard. Construction report. A lot of steam engines. Mostly Naples, France, Algiers. Ah, oh, these are ports in Algiers. Cambridge has a weaver's cottage. Let's get London firing on all cylinders. Everything that can be upgraded is being upgraded in France. So there's lots of industrialization and happiness. Let's build a theater. In fact, you guys might just stay in there for now. Just to provide a bit of a garrison. While we still lose this uh, resistance to foreign occupation. Our warriors can go down to the steam dry dock. She recruit third and then a third... You're recruiting a heavy first, which seems about right. Okay, let's upgrade the theatre to a pleasure garden. And let's upgrade this to a military academy. Severe. Why have you just stopped researching anything? Eighteen, twenty. I suppose there's nothing efficient for you to research. Preserved foods. It'll take a while, but we are expanding. We are expanding the school. Do I upgrade the fishing fleet? Maybe. Ah, no, first I repair the palatial estate. Good, now we're up to... It's 25,000 next turn. Should be a bit more once we... I mean, that's not that's not really a fight. I can't demand surrender, but just take it. Lost 300 men. It's quite an efficient victory, actually. Good, and I can send some of my ships over to secure the port. Because that's another two and a half grand. Because we're getting a whole bunch of tobacco. Tobacco is worth 43. A good amount of cash, and it'd be even better once we take Santo Domingo. God, that's a lot of troops in Port Royal. So, what's that? Hillary Mansfield, Kevin McDowell, Kevin Harley. Yep, yeah, Cuba is ours, but it's okay. But I gotta hit it in turn. Yeah, I have outlined before this is going to be a bit of a... Yeah. Just Britain. Just Britain is manageable. I can attack Morocco. I can attack Tripoli. With Ernesto Defendi that's now based in Naples, he can hit Tripoli. Obviously got an army waiting by Morocco. But to be honest, if I take Morocco and Tripoli, we can probably call it quits. And then make peace again. Ooh, this is the one that matters. They've not been joined by anyone. Okay, okay, okay. So 
So now... So they've made their move. Okay. Britain and Paris are just going to dump line infantry. Just absolutely dump it. That is m impressive. Especially as now this army's cut off. But do I just push and take Strasbourg? Now, when I say dump line infantry, I mean dump line infantry. These don't need to be good armies. They just need to exist at this point. And the reason why I'm picking line infantry to dump is because infantry is what break makes or breaks an army. So you've lost trade with Britain, they've raided in Calais. In which case, then? Send some more ships out to raid to try and secure tr more trade income, which has worked. This, tr this trade route through the centre of Italy is worth a lot of money to Britain. We have a fleet there. Jamie Hampton, 4th rate ship of the line. Probably best to knock it out. Okay, got a lot of things to do in this episode. Nino. Hold on to that for now. Ernesto. Deploy your men. Deploy them off of Tripoli. Back to port. Third rich of the line. No. <sighs> Pick the desert, <laughs> desert infantry. Third late, San Spiridon. Go to Syracuse. Still want to expand this navy. Skin of the first. Obviously, I want to take Cagliari. Just behind the lines, it's just an annoying little pustule. Okay, get this guy down to the bridge to keep them safe. And if I can provoke them to a bridge battle, that'd be great. Same with you guys, really. Abandon the fort, take the bridge. <laughs> So we've immediately then pushed them. They have to go quite far south. So let's check any buildings are upgrading. Probably cancel the Weaver's Cottage. Crew another army in Spain. I'll try to do something. Can I get one more Swiss Guard? doesn't need to be a good force, it just needs to be a force. So let's go back to Cuba. Can't fix the can't fix the port, but we want to go take Nassau. Can you guys see who's there? Full stack. Workers are on strike in France, but now they're not. Back to the Bahamas. So what have they got? Eh, I'm not so bothered about Britain here. Um, we've still got a lot of... We've still got a lot of... Uh, well, they've got lots of bad navies. Let's just say that. This is the danger now. So much so... I trying to assassinate some generals. Probably gonna, gonna trigger a response from the Swedish Navy. But that's okay, but Whoa. 
Going back down to Nino Bosorovic. Boscovic. He is going to attack the city of Tangier. So, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the... Man. A bit of a <laughs> frustrating... Uh, well, actually, to be honest, it's good. The next episode is an hour, part 50. Because this army, I want to take Tangier, stabilise it. Then I want to deploy them, obviously, back up to France. Um... But I, as it stands, their job is to take Tangier. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time.